Let us see the construction and working of electrical discharge machining equipment. This process is also known as spark erosion process. This is a standard setup of electrical discharge machining equipment in which firstly we have tool which is usually made up of copper, graphite or copper tungsten alloys and connected to the negative terminal of the supply to be used as cathode. Then the workpiece which is usually connected to the positive terminal of the supplier to be used as anode. The gap between the tool and the workpiece is called as inter-electrode gap or simply spark gap. The tool and the workpiece are submerged in a dielectrical fluid bath, which fluid is continuously recirculated through pump and filtered for impurities through filter. The tool is also equipped with servo control for vertical motion of tool which in turn controls the tool and the workpiece gap. The power supply of the whole system is DC pulse generator which is used for creating a high voltage DC pulse across the tool and the workpiece. As electrical discharge machining happens between tool and the workpiece, let us examine the electrode spark gap during a single spark erosion. The electrode spark gap is the gap between the negative tool and positive workpiece. As a pulse of DC pulse generator reaches the gap, an intense electrical field develops in the gap. This causes microscopic contaminants and particles of the fluid to retract and concentrate in a gap, which creates a high conductivity bridge inside gap. As field voltage increases, the bridge heats up and some particles get ionized to form a spark channel between the electrodes to give rise to the visible spark. Visible spark creates high pressure and heat at the spark contact point and part of metal from the workpiece and even electrode is vaporized to form a vapor bubble which expands and the spark is cut off. As the pulse from DC pulse generator ends, this bubble is cooled to leave solid metal particles behind. At this time, electrical fluid rushes in and flushes out all the solid particles form. This leaves the machined workpiece behind. Sometimes the machined workpiece is has recast layer of 0.001 inch depth. Secondary processes such as chemical machining used to repair the recast layer.